Hey, it's me again. I got a new project. Uh, making this laser tripwire. It took me a little bit to get it right, but uh, first I'm going to show you the overview of it. Then I'll go into what's in it, and then I'll eventually put it on one of these. Okay, what we have is an NPN transistor. And it has to be NPN, not PNP, because of the way it's configured inside. And I'm going to see if I can get a better view of this. It's not going to do it. But this is the regular old photo cell I got from Radio Shack. This is just an LED just to show you. You can basically run anything off of this. Whatever voltage you put into it is what you're going to get out of your, uh, your, your third leg here. And I just put a, a 200 ohm resistor in there to work this uh, LED because I'm working off of 5 volts there. And as you can see, the problem I had was this resistor here getting it right because you want it to put a laser in here. This is another project I'll show you later. It's when I made a, a burning Blu-ray laser. But as you can see, if I hit the photo cell and once it broke, whatever you want to power on comes on. So it's, you know you walk in front of it and there it is. <clears throat> the problem, like I said before, was that one resistor. So the way I did it is I took a, just a regular old 10K pot and uh, I tweaked it until it finally did what I wanted it to do. And I disconnected the leads off the pot and measured the resistance on it. And I came out with like, it was like 3,900. But the closest thing I had in my box was a 4700, but I mean, it, it doesn't really matter that close as long as you can get it to go completely off. And you could take <coughs> your voltmeter and measure voltage across these two legs on the LED to get uh, your voltage out. And you want that voltage to drop to all close to zero as you can get it. I think I got it down to 0.02 or something like that. But, uh, that's basically it, and uh, get you a little bit better view of it. I know it's breadboarded right now, and a little cheapo breadboard. My other one's used up. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in an enclosure, and uh, I don't know what kind of application I'm going to use it for, but I'm probably going to put a socket somewhere on the end of this. So I could change the voltages, you know, from a 9 volt, double A, whatever I want to do with it. And then put another socket on the end of it to whatever I want to power with it. But uh, I'll get back to you on that and uh, just comment on it if you have any questions.